Hey guys, we are not sitting on the floor today because we are getting ready to get up and get out and go fidget hunting. This is the series where I try to find fidgets at stores that hopefully most of you have near your home. Today is Walgreens. I am completely aware that I am probably going to have to go to a couple of different Walgreens in order to find enough fidgets to fill up this video. I am going to three that are closer to me and if I have to venture out because I don't find what I'm looking for, I will do that for you guys. For you, I will. But before we jump in the video, I just have one quick announcement. We are gonna be doing another meet and greet. I am so excited for this. The first one sold out. People were on the waiting lists, so we decided to do another one. This one is gonna be on Friday, July 9th, starting at five o'clock. I will put the link for the tickets down below. So if you are in the St. Louis area, or if you just wanna have a fun little road trip to the teacher's lounge to come hang out with me, um, make sure you grab one of those tickets. You will also get a voucher to buy some fidgets while you're there. And that's it for announcements, guys. Let's just jump in the car and go to Walgreens. Hopefully we can find some stuff because I don't want this video to be a bust. I'm always so worried about these videos not working out. <laughs> We are at our first Walgreens of the day, and I really hope we can find some good stuff here. Um, Walgreens is always hit or miss. So what is this? That's one of my feathers. Okay, let's just go inside and see what we can find. So I grabbed a cart as soon as I got in because, you know, wishful thinking. And the first aisle I always go to is the toy craft aisle. I was able to find a bunch of different types of Rubik's cubes and these were pretty cool. I thought the master would be a little bit too difficult for my boys, but I really liked the mini. We do have the original, but I thought maybe even I could do the mini. So here's to hoping that one works. I also found some canoodles, which we already have. So I skipped those and we have a star cube as well. So this is a cool fidget, but we already have it. I do like these water snake animal guys. I have one type, but I don't have these two. So I chose the one that I thought was the cutest. Obviously they had wobbles, which are my mortal enemy. So we skipped those. I also like these koosh koosh balls, but we have a couple of those in the playroom already. After I check out the toy aisle, I also check out the seasonal sex selection selection to see what they have. And I found this super fun toy, which I am already obsessed with. How cool is that? I've already been playing with it and 10 out of 10, highly recommend. And then when I was checking out, I saw this behind the counter and I knew I needed to get one. So I asked if we could have one. We just finished Walgreens number one and I don't think it was a complete bust. I actually saw some like flip right at the counter that they were working on putting out on the floor. So I grabbed one of those and luckily they were already priced so we could take those home. And now let's head to the second Walgreens and see what they have. We are now at Walgreens number two and this is a Walgreens I don't like ever shop at. It's pretty close to my house, but I have two others that are even closer. Um, I'm now realizing how many Walgreens there are in the world. So we are gonna go in and see if there's anything that this Walgreens has that I don't normally see at my Walgreens. By the way, that is a mimosa tree. It is the tree that I have tattooed right here. One of my favorites. Walgreens down. I am pleasantly surprised that I found some things in this Walgreens that we didn't find at the other one. So I think we are going to be able to end the journey at the third and final Walgreens, which is the one closest to the playroom. So let's go. 
They have so much slime and different types of putty at Walgreens. I've always wanted to test these out. So if you guys wanna see me test these, let me know. But other than that, the only other thing I found were all of these poppets and I was super stoked. Look at how many they have. These are the two I picked. So I was hoping this Walgreens would still have poppets. If you guys follow me on TikTok, you know that I have found them at this specific Walgreens before and I am really excited that they were still there. They had a huge selection. They had so many. I don't know why this one has poppets, but the other ones don't. What's going on Walgreens? What's happening? But let's go to the playroom and test out and do a haul on all the fidgets that I got today. Okay, so three Walgreens later, I think we definitely have enough for a pretty good haul. Let's start with what we got from the first Walgreens. This is that squared flip them that I found right as we were leaving. These feathers are really going wild, y'all. And I wanted to see how easy it is to flip it inside out. Okay, that was his innards. Am I doing this wrong? Am I incapable of flipping this inside out? No, no, I'm not incapable. I think I might be incapable. <gasps> okay, nope, nope, just gotta shove it in there. Okay, so I got him flipped and he's cute. He's got the grumpy side and then, ooh, this is like not easy. So he does have his happy side, he does have his grumpy side, but flipping it back and forth is very difficult, not fun, and I, I don't love it. So I'm sorry, you're super cute, but I don't suggest it. We also got one of these Floops, and it is a water snake, but these are like my favorite water snakes for kids because they are so sturdy. I have had one of these on the floor for months that my friend Crystal got me, and it has never broke. So these I highly suggest. If you have small hands, little ones in the family that want a fidget, these from Walgreens are a win. And then last from the first store, last from the first, is this mini Rubik's Cube. I'm hoping that this is one that even I can do. I've gotten many a Rubik's Cube in my life and none of them I have ever been able to figure out. So I am hoping, wait, how did this one get there? Maybe I won't be able to figure it out, but maybe AJ will be able to figure it out. So I will take this home and see what AJ thinks of this mini Rubik's Cube. So those were the items that we got from the first store. Now let's hop into what we got from the second store. I ended up getting one of these squishy gel bead balls is what they are calling it. It's supposed to be fun for the sun but it's basically just a water bead bowl. This one's really nice. There's no sticky residue. There is no chemical scent. Literally zero scent, y'all. That is very rare in a fidget. So I like this, highly suggest it. 10 out of 10, perfect. And then I did get one of these Squishmallows. I know it's not a fidget, but you guys are always in my comments telling me to get one of these Squishmallows and he's really soft. So they only have Star Wars themed ones. I'm not huge into Star Wars. I've never actually seen Star Wars. Either way, really soft, really cute, and I do like him. And then you guys are gonna have to let me know, does this count as a fidget? It is a wearable bracelet where you create your own design and it kind of reminds me of like a snapping bracelet, but you get to put these little Legos on it. These are teensy tiny little pieces. Absolutely do not give to small children. I think the packaging even says six and up. So if you have a little one that puts things in their mouth, do not to them. However, I feel like this could totally count as a small fidget because the kids can remove these and replace them. You guys let me know, does this count as a fidget? And then for the third store, we found poppets. They had so many of these poppets there. They had so many different styles, colors, and I got the rainbow unicorn and the rainbow um, square. This is a square. 
It's been a long day, y'all. So I am going to turn the camera around and we are gonna test these out. I did test one of these out on TikTok and the specific one that I tested out had a quiet side and a loud side. So I'll be interested to see if these shapes are exactly the same. So that was a pretty quiet side. And this is the loud side. But still a great silicone and not bad quality. I like it. Let's try this guy. That's a good sounding side. <gasps> Y'all. Oh my gosh. Listen. Okay, this has both good sides. I am so excited that I got multiple shapes to see which one was best. This one I give like a five out of 10 because half of it sounded amazing and the other half was super quiet. This one is a 10 out of 10. Get the square shaped one. As you heard, both sides were so good. So good job, Walgreens. I'm killing it on the fidget front. So a quick recap on all of the things that I got. Two poppets a mini Rubik's Cube, a squishy Orby ball, a water snake, two plushy type of thingies, my bobbies, and then these bracelets that you can build yourself that have the removable pieces that you guys are gonna let me know down in the comments if you think these are fidgets or not. But that's everything today, guys. These are all the fidgets that I got from Walgreens. I think that it was a success. And if you are looking for fidgets in your area, go hit up Walgreens. They had so many different options. The poppets are a big surprise that I am excited about. And I hope you guys find some good things at your local Walgreens. Let me know down in the comments what you have found at your stores, because I'm always super interested. And if you want me to pick a different store for the next time I do this series, let me know. I still need to do like dollar stores, Michaels. There's still so many places that of them. There's still so many places that we can go fidget hunting. Don't forget that the meet and greet is coming up on July 9th. And if you liked this video, I would like it if you gave it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, I would love it if you'd subscribe and make sure you turn on the bell icon so you get alerts for when I post videos. I'm attempting to do two every week this month, two a week for an entire month. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and don't forget, wash your hands. Bye guys.